हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शिल्पी सक्सेना वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्निंग हब सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग द टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो इज डेटा प्रोसेसिंग इट इज द टॉपिक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज व्हाट इज डेटा प्रोसेसिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक डेटा प्रोसेसिंग व्हाट इज इट एक्चुअली इट्स अ स्टेज ऑफ एआई प्रोजेक्ट साइकिल इन व्हिच वी आर Uh, converting the raw data into machine readable form machine can understand only the language of 0 and 1 that is binary language so uh, the the convert the data which we have collected and filtered out means irrelevant data is removed and we have only relevant data and that is to be converted to the form which can be understood by the machine and then finally it it uh, takes care of the flow of data from cpu to memory to output devices and formatting or transformation of output basically which which format is required for which type of model for that we need data processing okay now data processing uh, we will start one by one step step by step of natural language processing how this happens so uh, for natural language processing first of all text normalization is done text normalization it's a process of simplifying the text to make it suitable for the machine processing it removes the unnecessary pieces of text the whole textual data from multiple document is called corpus now the thing is as i told you that in processing we remove the irrelevant data so whenever i am speaking some uh, suppose i am uh, speaking something so there may be many words which are irrelevant but we are using it for syntax we are using for grammatical purpose for for, for machine it is not required so removing those words which are irrelevant which are not not uh, required that is unnecessary pieces of text is text normalization so whole text suppose we are we are having the textual data from multiple documents that term we will use is corpus in my video many places you will find the word cor corpus don't get confused it is a one marker question the text the from the multiple document are uh, combinedly when we combine the textual data from multiple document it is known as corpus so text normalization is basically simplifying the text removing irrelevant data in relevant pieces of text so that uh, less amount of data is fed to the machine then comes text uh, now in this text normalization we have some steps the first one is sentence tokenization or segmentation somewhere sentence tokenization must be will be written and somewhere segmentation will be written so both have same meaning so we will start with the uh, the topic text tokenization which is turning paragraph into multiple sentences when we are giving written test or verbal when we are speaking something the paragraph should be divided into simple sentences so for example i am learning hub is a youtube channel to learn ai it is awesome so in this this is a uh, this paragraph there are two sentences so we have to convert into it into two sentences separate sentences so there you can see the list in which one uh, one item is the first sentence that is learning hub is youtube channel to learn ai and second one is it is awesome so we have to break the paragraph into sentence now further breaking means that those sentences have to be broken into words for example it is uh, it is words it is also known as work segment segmentation turning sentence into words now we'll take an example suppose learning artificial intelligence is fun so this is single sentence we have to convert it into words so you can see the list of all the words which are there in the sentence the next thing is text stemming text stemming what is text stemming basically in the word the suppose the the word have different prefix and suffix attached to it to remove the the the, the remove the to chop the word ends of the words means from the last of the word is text stemming like change changing you can see here there are different words which are being used change changing changes changed and changer we are cutting the word from here 
so all the words should be cut cropped chopped or cropped from this side so you can see the final word which we are getting is c h e n g which doesn't have meaning but machine has to understand that okay but it doesn't have any meaning so this has a drawback that whatever word is final finally uh, given that may or may not have meaning that is why the another step that is used is text limitization the text limitization is same as text stemming the but the difference is the final word which is recovered that is that has the meaning it will convert it into the proper word uh, text limitization is method responsible for grouping different inflected form of words into root form having the same meaning now here also it is chopped but the final word which we are retrieving has a meaning it is proper now again the one marker question the differentiate between text stemming and text limitization this is very common question that can be asked in board exam now we will move ahead with the removing stop words special characters and numbers so there are different words when i am speaking something there can be different words which i am using very frequently like articles a the and so these words can be removed from the sentence so that machine can get only the relevant words relevant data that can, that has to be processed so these articles and other stop words need to be filtered out so this in this step we are going to remove the, the different stop words special characters and numbers which need not to be converted for example taken an example ame wants to dance and sing he don't want to read so in this you can see when we will convert it so we can remove the stopping words ame can should not be removed wants should not be removed but two can be removed dance will be there and this conjunction we can remove it sing will be there he can be removed don't will be there and read will be there fine so in this way we can remove the stop words so that machine gets less amount of data now converting this text into common case now it can be it it may happen that different sentences are there with title case or sentence case or whatever case so everything should be converted into lower case that is i have given an example you can see here he visited london in different cases it is written and finally when we normalize it when we convert we have to convert it into the small case so that my machine can understand it easily now bag of words very important topic bag of words b o w bow we, we it is again the frequently asked question what is bag of words it is basically the collection of all the words which you have you have used in your corpus when you are using the corpus there are different words which are used very frequently or less frequently whatever words the combination of all the words make bag of words bag of words model is used to pre process the text by convert it into it into a bag of words which keep count of all the total occurrences of most frequently used words now see bag of words will have all the words with the frequency means suppose you have three documents in all the three documents how many times that particular word is used so the step followed are first of all we have to convert the text into lower case the next thing is all the non word characters means we can remove all the non word characters which which are not required then remove all the punctuations mark punctuation marks we can declare a dictionary to hold our bag of words next thing is then we have to tokenize each sentence to words basically all the sentences are converted to words after that each word in the sentence we check if the word exists in our dictionary so all the words should be kept in bag of words only once with the count if next time that word occurs so the count should be increased by 1 so in this way we keep the track of all the words which are available in the bag of words with a count how many times that word is there in the document so 
till here i think you understood it properly so if you like this video please like and subscribe don't forget to share hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead